the Tsar Bomba's explosion was unparalleled in power. With a 50 megaton capacity, this nuclear test was estimated to be 3,800 times the strength of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. And although short video clips and photos previously proved its existence, this 40-minute propaganda film detailing the bomb's history and specifications was unseen until now. The documentary, presenting unparalleled footage of the largest nuclear explosion ever on Earth, was released to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Soviet Union's nuclear industry. It was posted on the Rosatom State Atomic Energy Corporation's YouTube channel. The images offer a new and fascinating glimpse into the powerful Cold War nuclear test of October 30th, 1961. It's also a great reminder of the power the Soviets wielded during its stare down with America. By the 1960s, the Cold War between the USSR and the US had grown increasingly tense. To show the Soviet superiority amidst the rising political pressure, Premier Nikita Khrushchev ordered the development of a doomsday-sized bomb. The bomb aimed to achieve, quote, sufficient guaranteed retaliation with an unacceptable level of harm to the enemy in the event of a nuclear attack against Russia. Though not intended as a weapon, the Tsar bomb was meant to prove to the United States that large Russian warheads were in existence, thus putting psychological pressure on America. Designed from 1954 to 1961, the bomb was unparalleled in its power and blast radius. It had a 100 megaton capacity, but the resulting fallout from a full power test blast was deemed too dangerous. The explosive was modified to yield 50 megatons for the trial. Over the years, the RDS-220 hydrogen bomb was identified with many names, such as the Big Bomb or Kurska's Mother, an old Russian expression of when you're about to teach someone a harsh lesson. The CIA blandly referred to it as Joe 111, but its most popular name was the Tsar Bama, or King of Bombs. The bomb was monstrous in size. At 26 feet long, 7 feet in diameter, and a weight of over 60,000 pounds, it wasn't even able to fit inside the bomb bay of the Tu-95V bomber specifically modified to drop it. The bomb doors and fuselage fuel tanks had to be removed. The massive RDS-220 was equipped with a special parachute to slow down its fall, allowing the plane to fly away from the blast to a safe space just in time. The Tsar Bama's first and only test happened on October 30th, 1961. The explosive was carried by a release plane piloted by Major Andrei Dronovtsev. After reaching 34,000 feet, the bomb dropped, the chute opened, and it started its three-minute descent while the bomber and its chaser plane took off at high speed. The explosive power released made the Tsar Bama the largest nuclear weapon ever tested. It's also the most powerful human-made explosion that's ever been recorded. Seconds after the explosion, the fire's dome extended over 18 miles, which later morphed into a mushroom cloud that reached a height of 40 miles with a diameter of 55 miles. The military town of Severny was nearly destroyed, even though it was 35 miles away from Ground Zero. The project scientists painted the jet carrying the Tsar Bama and its Tu-16 Badger chase plane in white to limit the bomb's heat damage. However, the explosion's shockwave caused the paint to melt, and the aircraft lost about 3,000 feet of altitude. Still, the pilots were able to recover and land safely. On August 20th, 2020, the Rosatom State Atomic Energy Corporation, the Russian government division responsible for nuclear weapons, released the test's previously unseen documentary footage on its official YouTube channel. The film, which coincided with the 75th anniversary of Russia's nuclear industry, provided some new, never-before-seen details of the RDS-220 hydrogen bomb. In true Soviet propaganda fashion, this 40-minute documentary shows the long and humble trek the bomb took by steam train from Orlenia Air Base in northwest Russia to its detonation place above Novaya Zemlya. Although the bomb was detonated miles above the ground, a 5.0 Richter scale seismic shockwave was measured worldwide. According to the documentary, the light from the bomb's flash could be seen at a distance of over 600 miles. If detonated in America, the Tsar Bama would have completely devastated an area the size of the entire Los Angeles metro. Radiation fallout from the bomb was measured as far away as Scandinavia, and the international public was outraged. 
Consequently, subsequent Russian nuclear weapons tests were conducted underground. Following the 1961 blast, Andrei Sakharov, one of the physicists who helped design the bomb, had a change of heart. He became involved in efforts to limit nuclear tests and became an anti-war and human rights advocate. After facing persecution in the Soviet Union, Sakharov won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1975. As for pilot Andrei Dronovtsev, the Soviet Air Forces promoted him to lieutenant colonel immediately after dropping Tsar Bama, and he went on to receive the Hero of the Soviet Union Award, the highest honor given by the Soviet state for service. Although a success, the Tsar Bama was never really considered for operational use. Because of its massive size, the bomb could not be delivered by a conventional ballistic missile. Instead, it had to be transported by aircraft, which could easily be intercepted before reaching its target. Hence, the Tsar Bama was viewed more as a weapon of Soviet propaganda. In 1996, the UN approved the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, banning every nuclear weapon test explosion. The release of this Cold War-era documentary in 2020 is a potent reminder of nuclear weapons' lingering presence and impressive destructive power. <laughs>